Welcome back to another Weekend Warrior edition. I uh, thought I'd give you an update on uh, the Domar uh, 7900. So here we go. Um, I'll flip you around and show you what, uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, hassles we ran into. Okay, uh, here we are. So I had to rip the case back down. Um, when I got to it, uh, I could not get, went through three seals to try to get into into the case here and, and seal up and uh, on this um, clutch side. And um, it looked like everyone I got in there without ripping this thing apart. And as you can kind of see, this lip right here is a pain in the butt. So yes, um, I even went in there and tried to do a little bit of beveling. I might do some more, um, but in here, this this lip is very hard and catches and so it you can roll it real easily and so as you can kind of see I, I did all kinds of things i lubed it up i tried the shins i tried you know the sleeve around there to get it on there what a pain in the butt never seated quite right so after three after destroying three seals it would always uh, look like it was a misalignment off to this edge over here so uh Ended up ripping it back down across, apart, let's just say. Um, taking out the bearing, so uh, this bearing feels really nice. So I got a, a two pack of, of yes, um, aftermarket specials, but you can see the steel race in here. So I'm putting another bearing in here. And maybe because the case was in this was just warbled out just enough that I had to use that, that uh, bearing sealing compound that that Loctite that green stuff that was there so and and it did hold uh, the bearing was in there actually pretty securely uh, nicely so I actually had to heat it up and get it out so I, I think that's actually good stuff never used it before so this is my first time experience with it so I think uh, I'm going to be okay with the case because these bearings still drop in and out just boom you know they go right down in there and there'll be a little ever so slight play in there so anyways factory bearing is here you can kind of see what the factory bearing was in this uh race and basically um you can get in there and you can kind of see the uh it is a um 6203 so really basically this size is the same size if you're looking for parts i, I believe the seal is the same, and the bearings are the same as a Husqvarna 285 or 390, or 385, sorry, my, my mistake, a 385 XP or a 390, which is the same chassis, right? So really, that's what these bearings are. Same size, same fit into the case and everything. So I'm using this partially because you got plastic cages in here. Um, and and when I I go side to side play, not up and down, but if I twist the inner side, there's a very slight you know difference. Like if I take this one and go this way on it, there's nothing. If I do that with this, and I put it on there, and I go side to side, there is uh, a feeling in there. You can feel it. I can ever so slightly rock back and forth and I can feel it. So that's why I'm going with the aftermarket um, that were stamped from China. Um, but you know, when I, in here, it's actually a smoother bearing and, and steel cage. So I have a little bit better confidence. Being that this is a trying to salvage stuff together, that's what's going on. Here's my cylinder again, of course. Take another look at that, you know, uh, fairly stock. The only thing I really did was the lowers and uh, polish up the exhaust. So, yeah, that's the tribulations and the trials that has been going on um, and then the hang up. And of course, after doing that, I had to order more parts, gaskets, you know, kind of stuff and seals. So that's uh, the stumbling point that I was on. So there's your update for the, uh, the Domar um, slash Makita 7900 and the trials that go through. You gotta love a uh, junk saw building, right? Trying to resalvage something um, that was there. And so um, hopefully this works. 
we'll get it in. What what I'm going to attempt to do now, just to let you guys know, give a heads up, I'm going to put the gasket on there, on this side, seal up some motor seal, put it in there, and then uh, put that that uh, green Loctite that I have here on here. Let's see. This is the stuff right here. As you can kind of see, this is the sleeve retainer, high temperature, 64, well, it's Permatex, not Loctite. So, anyways, this is the stuff that I'm using. Seemed to hold real well. I'm going to do that, slide the case in, and immediately uh, put the seal in there before it sets up crooked at all, and the seal will help center anything that might be off. So, that's where I'm at. Hopefully it's good and it's not the other side of the crank that's off, but I don't think so because this side has sealed up very nicely. There was no air leaks in when I'd done that, so I, I'm hoping that this side was on correctly and everything worked, so. There it is. Oh well, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Easter on this Sunday, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Thank you for watching.